Hey guys, I'm Matt Prez and I'm joined by Alex Harris here on Inside the Paint. Today we're talking about Keon Boyd, a dynamic player at HD Woodson. Absolutely, yeah, and Keon has uh, is really been making some noise this year and, and had some really big games and, and bringing a lot of attention to himself um, as well as his, you know, getting his team on the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a few plays here that he made in a recent game and just to show how dynamic he is and, and also, you know, kind of how he creates a presence for himself on the, on the court. So as we go right into this first one, you've got a little bit of a, an isolation play here and if you let it roll just a little bit, you're going to start to see the help defense and pause right there. And you can see there's two of the other HD Woodson players in the corner and the top of the key. Keon's got the ball in his hands and the help defense clearly respects him as a player, clearly respects him because they're digging in. So let's go ahead and let it play just a little bit more and pause right there. So now he starts to create that separation. He's doing a little between the legs action to get into his step back. And let's let him go ahead and step back and pop right there, stop. This is a wide open shot. Now, wide open shots are created in a lot of different ways, but when you can create it for yourself off the dribble, that's special and that's something that college coaches are always looking at because it's even tougher to get your shot off at the next level. So this is a skill this young man is gonna be able to use for a number of years. All right, so it's a great job getting that separation, hitting that shot, but roll it back real quick. Let's take a look at where he shoots this from. So Alex, he's just inside the three-point line. As a coach, is that a good shot or a bad shot? Yeah, and that's a great question. You know, I mean, his heels kind of are on the three-point line there. You know, but let's be honest, I, I, can't, I can't really complain. You know, the kid makes a great move, and, and in the end of the day, he knocks down a big shot. You know, in a perfect world, yeah, we don't want to shoot that shot with your heels on the three-point line. But you know what, I'm okay with it because he makes a tough shot, he gets himself open, we move on to the next play. He's a guy you trust to make that shot. I do. All right. All right, so into the next play, we're, uh, we're gonna start it off with a little bit of a broken play here, which turns into another isolation. And uh, as we let it roll here, we can see that, that he pulls it back out. Keon's got the ball uh, in his hand again here. Shot clock winding down too. Yeah, absolutely. So as we get in, and we're gonna pause it right about there, and we're a little bit blocked by the defense. Let's go a little bit further and stop right there. So he's essentially done the same thing that he did the last play, which is that step back jump shot. And that's why I wanted to bring this, this clip in here is to show that this isn't just a one-time fluke. So as we let it play, go ahead and just go a couple frames ahead. Now this time he is behind the three-point line and gives himself another wide open jump shot. So young players that are out there, if you ever hear your coach is saying creating space or get yourself a good shot, there you go right there. Two very good shots. Let's go ahead and watch that full, full, uh, full speed again, and you're going to see just how easy he makes this look. I'm telling you, he's practiced that a few times before. No doubt about it. And you could see his teammates kind of slide out of the way, give him that space to work, and he knocks it down. Absolutely. And that goes back to the trust. And it's not just a trust from a coaching standpoint, but also from a teammate standpoint as well. All right, looking into our last play here. So as we see, he's uh, got the ball out there on the wing. He's going to make a hard drive to the rim. And let's pause right there. Now, actually, let's go back a few frames because I want to point something out. Number 21 here is an important part of this play. And when you're talking about help defense in the game of basketball, it's important that when you're guarding the opposite side of the court on the baseline, you always want to put your head underneath the rim so that way when that drive happens, if you were number 21, you're already under the rim. So it's a quick rotation to putting two feet outside the lane making sure that what's about to happen doesn't happen. So let's go ahead and let this thing roll. And I think you know when to pause it right there. And uh, that, I believe, is what we call posterized. So uh, let's go ahead and get that thing uh, screenshot, make that the background of his iPhone, get that thing printed up into a nice big poster, put it up in his bedroom. That's a, that's a play he's going to want to remember for a long time. And I love the dunk. Don't get me wrong. I love the dunk, but it's not as good as the reaction of the crowd, and it's not as good as the fact that he essentially has stopped this game. I mean, nothing's going on right now. They're not even checking the ball in. The crowd's just out there going crazy. I, that might be his mom going nuts right there. And you know what? If I was his mom, I'd be going nuts too. Good for him. Big time play. Love it.
You said 21 was going to be an important part of that play. I think it's a play he wants to forget about altogether. Yeah, he probably should. And uh, you know what? It happens to the best of us. I'd be lying if it said uh, it didn't happen to me. So, been there, done that. Well, Boyd, a four-star recruit, uncommitted currently, but someone is going to be very happy to have him. For Alex Harris, I'm Matt Present. Thanks for watching.